Hi, it's Bonnie from Three Birds Renovations and I'm in Tasmania meeting one of the owners of this gorgeous little cottage. Her name is Claire. We're on the beachfront of Pirates Bay and the best part is you can stay here too. Okay, Claire, we are here in the most epic position I've seen in a while. Last night, I had a fire here. Yeah. It was just the best overlooking this. So tell me, where are we and what have we got here? So this property is nearly 900 square metres and right. we've had it in our family for the last four years. The property itself are over 90 years old. Before us they were owned by a single family. This cottage here is the um, original cottage that was built in the 30s. Gotcha. And then this um, secondary fisherman's shack was put up a couple of decades later. On to the renovation. You know, we've gone with like dark kind of moody colours here. Yep. What were you thinking behind that? There was definitely inspiration taken from the river shack. Oh, that, gorgeous. That you guys did. Yeah. Even though the interior is cozy and has a beautiful vibe, the exterior of this shack was really ugly. Yeah. And <laughs> we didn't have a lot of room to move with renovations or extensions. Yeah, with budget, yeah. With budget yep. and also council. Okay. So we wanted to make it sit down into the landscape, yeah, fade I away understand. a little bit. Yep. And so what you saw was the beautiful landscape the beautiful views yeah and the thing with um, with shacks yes and when you paint them black <laughs> you are covering a multitude of sins totally you know totally. so black yes. is fantastic in the sense that it does hide so much stuff yes. and you know what? and this... it makes it cohesive exactly mm. and it, you know this is a shack this isn't about coming somewhere and having this brand new beautiful space. Yeah. It's about having that history and and it feeling a little bit rugged and, and inside feels warm, cosy, but it feels authentic and real. Yes. And that's what I love about it the most. Yeah. Now you said that you took a little bit of inspiration from the River Shack. Yes. Did Renault School help for you or how did how did you find it? The Renault School was really helpful, especially in terms of creating mood boards, yeah. to have a cohesive idea of what we were doing going forward. So we wanted moodier tones, darker tones. Because it's so eclectic, it was really helpful to have that overall Vision. mood board inspiration. I heard a whisper that there's five people involved. How do you um, keep it so that it's all peachy keen and okay? Like yeah. what happens, like is there a, a time where there's peak periods here yes. that you would want to use it? Who gets to use it? Well, it was primarily bought as a family shack. Okay, so um, does everyone come together? Yes, we do keep times blocked off for ourselves. Yeah. And then if we're not going to use it, we open it up. For and Airbnb. It, for Airbnb use. Yeah. So it does probably get Airbnb'd maybe 70% of the time, but we can open those bookings up quite late and we know that they'll get filled, especially during peak period. And so probably. what's peak here? Is, is November, winter peak or is summer peak? Summer's peak. Summer's still peak. But since we put in the sauna, winter has been picked up. Very, very busy too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Isn't it amazing how just one quirky piece within a home mm. can make such a difference yes. to why people will want to stay there with yeah, an Airbnb? Definitely. You know, having that sauna is such a draw card. Yes. Like that is incredible, that yeah. view. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Straight through, incredible. Like I would literally like swap that out for a side table so that I could stick my cheese and wine yeah. there and you're out of the wind, you're out of the cold. It is just beautiful. It's quiet, it's peaceful. And the smell. Beautiful, isn't it? The Canadian cedar. just so beautiful. So I'll go back to the sharing again. Yes. Then who makes all the decisions design-wise? Mostly uh, my sister and I yeah, with, okay. with some strong design input from my mum. Got you, uh, okay. And some more practical suggestions from dad. <laughs> yes. He's, That's excellent. Yes. So pretty much in that scenario, dad is Aaron. So Aaron, oh, comes, right. Aaron comes in with all the practical you know, suggestions and said, Bonnie, why don't we need more storage here? We need to put a PowerPoint here. Mm. It's good to have that balance. It is, it is, yeah. it's important. Even the way that you probably don't even know that you did this, but you've done this, the lounge sits beautifully centered on that wall. Mm -hmm. 
and then you've placed all of the art in yes. a cluster off centre. Yes. And then, but what you've done is brought in a side table with height on the other side. So everything sits this side mm. and it's just perfect. Yeah. Now I walked up yesterday afternoon, we got mm -hmm. in at about four o'clock, the sun was going down, the mountains were glowing, it was just beautiful, like it was magnificent yeah. and I just thought, you know what I would actually love if there was no service here, that would be even better. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but there is, so don't panic people, there's service. But I felt like I was escaping mm -hmm. and then I walked inside and it was nothing like you know, my home that I live in, it was completely different. Mm. Is that what you wanted here? Did you want somewhere where you could escape and it was different? Yes, I think because it's a shack that we come to and it's a place where people visit from an Airbnb, you can afford to be daring and, and bold different. and yeah. different. Yeah. You want it to feel different from the house that you just left or a hotel room. Yeah and we have we have a lot of fun when we're doing our designs mm. and we tend to add add in more yeah. more textures more colors it's more layered. layering yeah. you wouldn't probably live with it every day yeah but when you're coming down for a weekend it's nice it feels rich and yeah. it feels enveloping and it it's part of what what makes it so wonderful oh i completely agree with you and mm. i felt that way oh good